journey is almost at an end. Oh, I hope the night folk get you, you son of a bitch, and hang you from a tree. They tried already, but failed miserably. Tell someone at the camp about this, I'll trade you for a meal. Wait. You stay here while I take yeah. this lovely fella to jail. Damn every one of them! Traitors! Come on. When the time comes, you'll be the first against the wall. Officer, I've come to collect my bounty. Got a live one for you. Well, looky here. We got a genuine Lamont Raider in the building. <laughs> Make the poor fella comfortable in one of our cells. <laughs> Bet you ain't felt the bed in a while. Damn traitor's bed. Get me off of here. Calm down. From the city of Saint Denis to you, sir, with thanks. Gracious of you. Hey there, Parker. You interested in a little friendly competition? Sure, why not? You were shooting? Man, I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd you say? Oh. Why don't we find out? Good. Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? What in the hell? You crazy? What the hell? Stop it. So up now. Oh. Has anyone seen Gavin? Morning. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing and uh, now I'm all alone. Okay. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. Gavin! Oh, the L people's here. That's weird. <laughs> I saw my friends die. I, I saw my leg. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Sure. Well, thank you. Say, say where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from right here. I hope you I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. Well, they somehow got rich about 50 years ago. They moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, they reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. I uh, so. Yeah, sure. Mister, I've been trapped down here. Why are you dressed up like that? I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. No, 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 wait, please. You gotta help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. I'd like to help you, but I am supposed to get in trouble around here. Could this be Gavin? You gotta do something, please. He's never gonna let me go. I'll be back. I promise. What do you want? 
this here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Gallagher Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Morning, sir. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Hey, friend. Hey, Bard. I'm getting some weird vibes around here. It's a fine day, ain't it? I hope it stays this way. Hey there, partner. Hey there. Working hard there. If I don't do it, no one will. Howdy, fellas. Hey. the sheriff's office excuse me friend we friends not yet but he is hoping i guess we don't get a lot of traveling men here and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful yankees about the place is there what are you doing here i just looking for work well looking for something don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> Good one. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains, mind, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Okay, so I need to deliver a letter to her. Only a letter. Of course. Uh, Bo's nether, got more care. Gift. Interesting. Stay here. I'll try to sneak in.
I can't really see then with this fog. Oh, now I see. I think I just need to worry about this guy over here. Very quickly now. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> A letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. Oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Stay here and make some friends. I will talk with Romeo over there. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. Uh. I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Hey, why are you over here? Did they peek on you? Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on, come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. We don't 
don't get there in time, my true love may be shocked. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. doing here i cannot let you go through with this you'll be killed i'm prepared to die for the cause bo you know that do something please what fight this mob we must begin leading me alive this is no laughing matter sir they need protecting from certain elements mostly my family penelope I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before madam well just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves and i'm sure you feel right at home shall we go <clears throat> all right ladies we know our song is a good one mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one yes ma'am let liberty reign <laughs> we're mothers wives housekeepers and daughters we cook the now, food now. and we fetch Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the back of roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it, all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm oh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. Make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Easy there. Oh, don't give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies, get down. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Oh. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Well, yeah. Founding Fathers, not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Oh. Oh. His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, where are we just leaving? Oh. Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. What? You'll hit me? Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. 
Follow me, I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. go back, hear the speeches. I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Was your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm -hmm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Not gonna lie. I'm surprised he paid me.